people often select people who are not ideal for them, and they often do this over and over again. They think they've selected somebody completely different, but they have some of the same traits um, that are not desirable. And often our selection process, you know, we'd say these are the things we're looking for in a partner, but that's not what's driving us on an unconscious level. Often we're looking for things that, for somebody who in some way replicates the people from our past, somebody where our defenses fit, where we feel more comfortable. And often in those kind of relationships, there's a lot of sexual chemistry at the beginning. It can be very intense where the defenses fit together. But a lot of times there's a lot of turmoil and conflict as well. So um, selection is one of the issues, who we select. So the woman who's had a father that was very unavailable, who look, falls in love with the man with that faraway look in his eyes, or the woman who, or the man whose mother was very intrusive and um, you know, very overbearing, who selects a woman who's very interested in him and wants to know everything about him. And at first that's quite charming, but as they get into the relationship, that feels very intrusive as well. And he may shut down and stop talking to her. And she may be desperately trying to talk to him because she's trying to get that love from her father that she never got. And it kind of works together, but it leads to a lot of conflict down the road. So first of all, selection. We have to look at the partners we select. Secondly, and often, you know, these same people when you know, somebody will say, well, why aren't you interested in this person who's so nice to you, who likes you so much, but they just feel like that person's so boring. They're not interesting. They don't pull out that same chemistry that somebody where the defenses fit together.